Self-righteousness equals hell and even only one sin is equals to hell. And wrong doctrine and misinterpretation equals to hell. Faith plus nothing is equal to salvation and going to heaven. How can we recognize that he or she is going to hell? Or how can we tell that a person will spend his or her eternity to the torment and damnation in hell? Let's hear the word of truth in the scripture that tells us who will suffer in the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 says, But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. So that is the answer, so even a lie can also hinder you, or stop you to go in heaven. So lairs are for hell, how about if you just call fool to your brother? Let us listen to the word of Jesus in Matthew chapter 5 verse 22, But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother, without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. So see. Even saying thou fool. So entering hell is very easy, and that was such a work of Satan, himself, who is the father of all lies. Listen to the word of Jesus which is the truth, in John 8 verse 44 says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. So a person having his or her father is Satan, will know where he must go, and that is hell, so therefore many will go to hell. So how can we go to heaven? That's the most important question. So, now we all know that we are all liars, or we all commit sin. So that is the problem to be solved. The problem is the penalty of sin which is death and death in hell. But the gift of God is eternal life. See Romans 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So in Jesus we have the answer of our question on how to go in heaven, because he is the way, the truth, and the life, and his life was given for you, and me, that was, when he was crucified, he bare all our iniquities and sins and shame. And my his blood drop out his face, and to the entire parts of his body, that was shed for you, because the scripture clearly says about salvation is a remission of our sins, and without shedding of blood there is no remission. Believe what the Lord done for you, and may, and what he says. So the scripture says, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, and and almost all things are by the law purged with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission. So Jesus already did it for you, and me. When he was dangling on the cross he was thinking of you, and he really shed his blood for all sins, from the past, present, and for the future also, he did it once, and for all. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all, so when he said, it is finished. I believed he really meant it. So don't be deceived by Satan's ministers, that says you must repent, and do the good works, and keep it up and do all your best. The scripture says, Jesus says, it is finished.